Welcome to this session on how the Autodesk portfolio can help with collaboration across disciplines to plan and design a complete factory. We'll be looking at some specific collaborative workflows that span multiple products. First, we'll look at interaction between Revit and Inventor to show the building layout as a backdrop in respect to the shop floor. Next, we'll look at ABC, short for Autodesk BIM Collaborate. Then finally, as we're noting down clash issues within the models, we'll see how those issues pop up in both Navisworks as well as Revit. So let's get started. So first, as you can see, of course, within ACC, I can, I can look at my views through the large model viewer. And what is important here is that to initiate this uh, link with Inventor, I can create what we call a data exchange, which specifically is going to sort out and select one of the views that we need to show in uh, Inventor. So in this case, we're interested, for instance, in the HVAC system and what we're going to do in Inventor is basically load that data exchange into the system. So what you'll see here is that once this is integrated, I can now share this outside of ACC as a view. The other workflow where we will be using ACC will show up later on. But in this case, what we're doing is we're basically going to interact between the Revit designer and the inventor designer. So for instance, what we see here is that there's not enough clearance. So essentially what we can do now is, uh, is communicate this with the Revit designer. He's going to move the HVAC system. And the beauty is that automatically, once we publish that new file, that data exchange gets updated. And we can actually, in Inventor, check for that update. And you'll see, indeed, that the uh, HVAC system has moved. OK, so other ways of uh, collaborating is, first of all, through Autodesk BIM Collaborate and then design uh, collaboration. Uh, what you're going to see here is that we're going to communicate through what we call packages. And those packages are, in fact, the different disciplines. So in this case, in the viewer, what you're seeing is that I can actually activate all of these different pack, uh, packages, the factory layout, the architecture, and the MEP stuff. And we can actually look at that uh, distance, for instance, what we've done between Revit and Inventor, and to look at that distance. You're also going to see that we can color code according to the discipline that delivered the package, so architecture uh, in, uh, in sort of green, and then the factory layout in blue, etc. This corresponds to the uh, teams that have been set up in design collaboration. So next up is model coordination. This is truly around clash detection between those different uh, disciplines. So we're going to leverage all of those different views. We can filter inside of those views. As you can see, we can sp specify certain levels. We can specify certain object types. And the nice thing is that in the end, we can share this view. We can save this view um, as, a, as a public view, which we can then uh, activate uh, inside of Autodesk Docs for everyone to communicate on. And that's effectively what we see here, that view specifically um, pulled out of uh, uh, model coordination. So coming back to the clash detection, as you've seen just a second ago, this matrix shows us all the different aspects um, of clashing between the different disciplines. And so in this case, what we've done is we've selected one of those clashes and highlighted them as an issue. So we truly created an issue. And just to highlight how effective this is, once we activate all of the models, as you can see here, this is quite difficult to note in the real world uh, what is happening. Uh, so with Autodesk BIM Collaborate, this will help us in understanding this functionality. OK, so now we're back into Navisworks. And this uh, integrates perfectly with the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So it pulls those same issues, that very same issue that you saw a second ago is effectively what we find here. And so this interaction between Autodesk BIM Collaborate and more specifically model coordination and the issue management inside of Navisworks help us to really nail down what the, what the problems are and, um, and follow up on them. So in this case, for instance, what you're going to see is that um, we can look at those different clashes. This time, I've loaded another model directly from Autodesk BIM Collaborate. And you're going to see that we find those three issues as they were populated in Autodesk and Collaborate. And then finally, how do we resolve them? Well, we go into Revit 
and reactivate that very same issue that was initiated on the package uh, that we saw. It pops up and we can modify as we see fit.